Starting out with a new pair of Victory Grips, you want to make sure you get them on the right hand. So there's a little L and R on the inside of your grip to help you identify the left and right grip. So you're going to put them on your middle ring and pinky fingers. Just remember the protective wrist covering is always on the pinky side of your hand. And secure the wrist strap. Don't pull them down like you would a glove. The grips are designed to fit high up on your wrist. To start to shape the grips to your hand, just take a squirt bottle or damp them in the sink just slightly and rub in the moisture. This is gonna help just make the leather a little bit malleable and also help the chalk stick and make the grips a little tackier. Just chalk them up really well and you're ready to go to the pull-up bar. The last step is about getting the fold of leather over the bar. This fold is going to help take the pressure off your calluses and give you a real efficient grip. So when you jump up onto the pull-up bar, you're gonna get your palm up and over the bar and with gripping the bar with your knuckles on top. This is gonna prevent any bunching from happening underneath your palm and give you a real solid grip. And then when you jump down, you're gonna see that your grips have actually started to take that shape that you want. Over time, chalk will accumulate in your grips and get slick and hard, and you just have to break it up with one of these little wire brushes which we sell on victorygrips.com. So you just take it, rub it into the grips, break up all the chalk, and you're gonna be restoring the natural nap of the leather. And that's all there is to it to restore the grip. A good way to store your grip so they maintain shape and fit easily in your gym bag is to take the fold, just fold it back, fold it once back over and into the wrist strap, and then just secure the wrist strap over it, and it fits nice and tight and maintains a nice little ball and fits easily in your gym bag.